everyone welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be cooking up some dryad saddle otherwise known as pheasant back mushroom I was out in the woods earlier today and found this fella and some wonderful garlic mustard which I will do a video about uh, but today I'm going to focus on this guy here and these actually get quite big this is just a little fella so uh, I'm going to saute chop them up real nice and thin slice and saute him with some I got some more dandelions and some uh, garlic mustard and dandelion greens and a little bit of butter and garlic and I'm just gonna have me a nice wild foraged meal for lunch, dinner, brinner, brunner, something like that. Brunner, brinner, brunch dinner. I love these. These are so good. You got to get them while they're young and tender. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you cannot eat them. They'll be too hard and rubbery. But this is a good size. It's still young. I, I was going to leave him, but he was still growing another little guy there. So I left the other little guy to get bigger for next time I go down there. I'll get him next time. But I usually just scrape the skin off here. If you can see, it just comes off very, very, uh, it's just a very fine layer of skin. And I just gently peel that off. And then usually I fry them, but I'm trying not to do so much fried food, you know. So I decided to do a little healthier and saute it with some forest greens, which I'm so delighted to have also. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us so abundantly. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. So this guy's still a little dirty. I'm just going to wash him off a little bit. And you're going to want to uh, get all the pores. Make sure they're poured. They're very fine poured. And you'll scrape all the pores off. But I'm going to actually go ahead and saute my garlic in this butter. I have some butter melting here. And I'm just going to mix that around. And saute, or <laughs> saute, yeah, saute. But we're grinding up rather, yeah, grinding, grinding up some garlic, grinding up, mincing, <laughs> mincing. There we go. And get that off. Ooh, I love the smell of garlic. And that's going to be nice. And then I'm just going to throw in some garlic mustard. And let that saute up all nicely. You can rip them up in pieces or leave them in the leaves, whether you like it. Whether you like it. And these are lovely dandelion greens, which they are a little bitter. But they're very good for you. And with the garlic and everything, salt and pepper, you know flavor how you to your liking and my lovely little flowers here I'm just going to put those on the side mix it up in the garlic butter and let it saute uh, medium medium low you don't want to scorch it and you don't want to burn out the nutrients medium low mmm it smells good because the garlic mustard and the garlic, woo, I hope you like garlic. And so this guy, here we are, back to this guy. I'm just going to take this little knife and just scrape the pores off gently. Because you don't want to take some of the most of the meat. You want to eat the meat. There ain't no bone spit out, but... These are really good, and there's lots of protein in them. 
pheasant back mushroom. Pheasant back or dryad saddle. It has a very like watermelony smell. It's very fruity smelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to get them while they're young and tender. You won't even be able to hardly cut into them or even handle them really. Like they're rubbery and hard. But this is like a nice, smooth, soft texture. Got a little bit too much of the meat off on that one. You can give me my meat. Mm, that looks nice. Okay, so after you get all the pores off, it'll be nice and clean. And you don't even have to clean it anymore or like do anything. You just cut it up. Isn't that cute? Mmm, that's so cool. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so I'm going to mix these up so I don't burn them. My flowers. Mm, mm. I might add a little bit of avocado oil in the pan. I'm going to set these guys over here so they can still cook up, but kind of out. I might turn the heat. No, I'll touch it. All right, a little bit of avocado oil in there. Maybe like a tablespoon. I don't like a, I don't want a lot of oil. I'm trying to, you know, trying to keep it clean here. So I'm just going to make thin slices and that's nice and that's nice. Yeah, that's nice and soft. Mm, isn't that nice? It cuts like butter, smooth like butter. Oh, it's very nice. It's very, just reminds me of springtime just reminds me of springtime okay so yeah well i think that's about right i might cut these again once more just a little bit just to make sure they get fully cooked in a not a lot of amount of time in a short of amount of time <laughs> and there we go so that looks about right and I'm just going to toss those in the oil and let those simmer and cook up very nice. Oh yes, all my oil kind of went to the other side. It's kind of a lot, kind of uneven here. Might be the pan. Ooh, woo. So we'll just move some of that oil down here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some a little bit of seasoning on them which you can season how to, how you like it or whatever is going to accompany the meal that you are making. So I'm just going to take some salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and let's see, a little bit of cayenne pepper and like a little spice. Excuse me. And I might do a little thyme. Do a little time. I love time. Time, time. It's time for time. Mmm, it smells really good. So, let that cook up. And when you do this, you'll notice like a lot of water coming out. That's good. Cook all the water out of it. So, and you'll know it's nice and nice and well done. Because you want to make sure when you forage mushrooms that you cook them thoroughly. What was the one mushroom? There's one mushroom that you can eat raw. I'm trying to remember. I can't recall it right now. But I still cook it anyway. <laughs> Just to be safe. Oh, that looks nice. Actually, you know what? I might squeeze a little lemon juice on it. You can never go wrong with lemon. You could always use some lemon. Mm. Lemon, 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 lemon. And I'll just have a little slice for my plate. 
They look so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my greens off because I don't want them to overcook. Mm. Give me more room for my pheasant back. Mmm, lemony. Yeah, that's cooking up really nicely. Flip them. Wild forest greens and pheasant back mushroom. Ooh, what a meal. Oh, my little boy is at the door. Hold on. Little boy. Come on. Big fella. All right, these look pretty good. Really like three three or four minutes on each side. Just make sure you cook all that water up out of them. Looking pretty good. Especially when you cut them thin like that, they cook real fast. So, mix it nice. Discard this. Hmm, smells good. big meal but it is fresh and really healthy and it has this little tiny bit of food probably has more nutrients in it than most meals most people eat on a daily basis which is really kind of sad but we are blessed yes blessed yes too blessed to stress and we're just gonna enjoy this lovely grace grace fed food because <laughs> we are blessed hallelujah all right here goes i'm going to just go with a piece of the mushroom first mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good with the thyme too. All my greens. Mmm. Mmm. Those are really good too. With the lemon. It actually takes a little bit of the bitterness from the dandelion greens. Mmm. That's really nice. Mmm. What a wonderful spring meal. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, this turned out quite nicely. I'm quite grateful, and I'm grateful to be able to share. Share what the Lord is doing in my life, hallelujah. And share some blessings. And just spread some love, you know? who's there I'm going to enjoy this meal in maybe in the sunshine it's a wonderful day today I encourage you to get out there and find some dryad saddle pheasant back mushroom for yourself enjoy have a wonderful day and God bless